Hey YouTube, this is Mitchell from Above the Talk Studios, and uh, today we're going to be playing Mass Effect 1 on the Xbox 360. Um, the reason why I wanted to play this game is that, you know, all around it's just an awesome storyline, 1 and 2. And uh, the other reason is Mass Effect is going to be, Mass Effect 3 is going to be coming out in like uh, a few weeks, so I'm pretty pumped for that. And, you know, I just wanted to kind of get these videos out about Mass Effect 1 and 2 before the third one comes out, and then hopefully when it does... Uh, I would be able to play it and uh, put another video out there too. So um, we're going to start. And these videos aren't going to go through the whole entire storyline. Uh, several different videos, but you know, we're going to start a new career, obviously. Yeah, I've never played these games for a year and a half, something like that. So, I mean, I'm pretty pumped to play these again. So, anyways, connect to database. I do remember this. This is completely long and unnecessary. Like, okay, did it have to go through that cinema? Like, that. I don't know. <laughs> it's just stupid. Anyways, uh, I always also remember that you don't want to be the the uh, default guy, because you'd be missing out on a lot, unless you're a beginner, first time player. Um, I'm going to do, yeah, obviously close to mail. Uh, I don't really care. I'll, I'll name him John Shepard. Don't really care. See, look at this. I mean, can't they just take me to the next screen? Does it really have to go through this little video thing? I mean, it's just wasting my time right now. Not trying to bash the game or anything, but you know, some things that kind of, you know, it kind of pissed me off. Just like this right here, pre-service history. Um, this is, I believe, it's only it only matters if it only affects like the outcome that that people talk to you in conversations. So um, this uh, it really really isn't necessary. Um, just kind of waste my time trying to read through all these, you know, people, first time players kind of think this is, this might be a big deal or something, you know, might majorly affect the storyline or something. So they spend, you know, people that actually care to you know, spend like 10 minutes trying to research this and figure out which one they should do, which one's the best one. But reality, it just wastes your time. So it doesn't really even matter. So I'm just going to, you know, Confirm Earthborn, I guess. Profile. Most realistic there. S same with this. Um... This, all it really does is just affect the outcome of conversations and when people talk to you. Um, the way people talk to you, I mean. So it doesn't, you know. It has nothing, it does not affect the game, like, physically at all. Just how people talk to you. So I'm just going to click Confirm. Soul Survivor. I don't really care. Now this is the stuff that matters. Um, these are the specializations that your guy can go through. Um, if you're a beginner player, I would suggest using the soldier. Uh, he can use every single weapon. But, you know, if you really want to go through the game and have a lot of fun with it, uh, I would pick the Vanguard, but that's just me. Uh, uses pistols, shotguns, machine guns. Uh, and uses this, uh, these, uh, biotic abilities. Uh, that are really, really cool. So, I mean, the only down downside that th is that they can only wear... I believe they can only wear medium armor, light armor, and they can only use sniper rifles. So they can't, or they can't use sniper rifles. So they they can't use heavy armor, and they can't use sniper rifles. So okay, I mean, is this really necessary? Also, I mean, select a bonus talent. All it gives me is assault rifles. So I mean. What, what do I unlock them as I go on? I mean, obviously, I'm going to click Assault Rifles. There's nothing else to fucking click. What else would I click here? Confirm facial identification. Facial identification. You guys can fuck around with this as long as you want, but I am not going to fuck around with it because I don't give a shit. Profile reconstruction complete. Okay. Um, so there's my profile reconstruction. I guess it's just confirming everything. <laughs> Oh, nope, it's double confirming now. 
Okay. Doubling, making sure that this is what you want. All right. Confirm. Okay. This also matters. Take a look at this. Um, I would play it on veteran or hardcore, but seeing as Am might be a little rusty on Mass Effect, and for the purposes of these videos, uh, I'm probably gonna do normal <laughs> because I don't want to be out there dying every five seconds. You know that that's that's bad uh, bad video right there. So I'm gonna click normal. Just sick of uh, getting through these videos. You know I don't want to have. 40 hours of Mass Effect 1 on here of me trying to get through this one fucking level. So, just normal. Uh, auto level up. Uh, if you really, really don't care, you can do both squat and player. But, um, it, there is some strategy involved in leveling up. And, uh, I'm just gonna do squad only. I don't care about my squad. It's just gonna waste my time. It really doesn't matter with your squad. So, I'm just gonna do squad only. It's just so I can, uh, auto, or so I don't auto le level up myself. I can manually level up my guy. Subtitles, I would suggest these, um, you know, just to be sure, because maybe some of the races, or maybe some of the parts you wouldn't, you, you might not understand, I don't know, I'm just going to leave them on for the pur purpose of these videos so you guys can see what's going on, so, target assist, uh, I have no idea what that does, it looks like it assists you with targeting stuff, so I'm going to leave that on, uh, squad power us usage, um, I would keep that on unless you're really, really good at this game and you want to manually use all of their abilities and you always want to focus, you know, under the right times. I mean, yeah, if you turn this off, if you turn this off, yeah, that requires a lot of strategy. So, you know, auto save, of course, I want it on. I don't want to be losing any saves, obviously. So I'm done right here, so I'm going to click continue. Shows a ship there. Well, what about Shepard? So we are starting this right now. No record of his family. Doesn't have to. He was raised on the streets. Learned to look out for himself. He saw his whole human die on a cruise. He could have some serious emotional scars. Every soldier has scars. Shepard's a survivor. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. See, as you can see there, right at the beginning of that uh, conversation there, it just says he's a he's a survivor. So that's all that thing does. So you guys can go ahead and read this. Explores Mars, whatever, incredible technology civilizations of the galaxy call it look at this suspense bam kicks it right in the nuts look at that the Arcturus Prime relays in range initiating transmission sequence where my guys go Walking like he's a badass. We are connected. Calculating transit mass and destination. The relay is hot. Acquiring approach vector. All stations secure for transit. So I mean, this game I think came out 2008, 2009, something like that. I think 2008. But the graphics for its time are really, really good. And I mean. I don't know. A lot of people say graphics are anything, and the way a game looks is everything. But hey, look at Halo 1 on Xbox. It doesn't look the best compared to today's graphics, but it's fun as fuck. So, I mean, you just can't judge... What I'm trying to get at is that you can't judge this game uh, by the first glimpse of the graphics. They they are they are pretty good. They, they, kind of they, they still do live up to today's standards. But... <laughs> The gameplay in this game is insane. Thrusters, check. Navigation. It's a third-person shooter over the shoulder. So not over the shoulder, I guess. A little bit back. I don't know. Over over the back of the head. Your captain will be pleased. I don't know. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment, so you hate him. 
You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are Fucking trouble. douche. I don't like having them on board. Show off. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. So anyways, I'm going to try to... I'm, I'm going to mute my mic during these... Uh, these conversations so you guys can you know have a chance to look at the game and actually read the storylines and listen to them uh so anyways typical bioware game uh i guess not very very many of the games but uh including the old republic uh bioware puts options down here to change the outcome of the conversations so yeah it does it does change them pretty dramatically so uh you know, I guess it, it doesn't really matter you always expect for the these worst. videos. I guess. How bad feelings are not I guess I'm gonna. I'll, I'll be. I'll be. I'll be uh, a little bit of a, a goody two so shoes in this game. Joker, status report. Just clear uh, the mask this time Captain. around, because I guess last Stealth time I was kind of a engaged. dick. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm <laughs> and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the calm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? I'm on my way. Is it me or does the captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking to you, Joker. Yeah, why don't you just talk behind my back right when I'm two feet away from you? good fucking plan. Anyways, um, as you can see, you can just go up to somebody, and you just click A to talk. Congratulations, Commander. Commander Looks Presley. Like had a smooth run. You <coughs> down to see the captain? Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat most people, I guess, you can talk to, but... Cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? All we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system. Why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. Okay, I just wanted to mention this real quick. Um, you can see, it looks like your normal conversation options, but investigate. Click that. Gives you a few more conversation options to uh, learn a, bit, a little, little bit more about the game and, uh, you know, change the outcome of the conversation a little bit more. So um, I'm going to be trying to do uh, as many of these as I can or as many of these I, I kind of feel necessary for you guys to hear if you uh, want to. So I'm going to go ahead and do some of these. You don't trust Nihilus. I don't like Turians I mean, in general. It runs <coughs> in my family. My grandfather fought I'm, the first You guys are not going to get anything if you have never played a uh, Mass Effect game. Listening to this is, uh, you know, it, you're not going to understand any of it. So, I mean, definitely uh, a couple of missions into the game, you'll start to get it. And, um, you know, you'll, you'll know all the races and everything and know what they're all talking about. Nihilus is no ordinary Turian. You've got that right, Commander. We're an Alliance vessel, human military. But Nihilus doesn't answer to the captain like the rest of us. Spectres operate outside the normal chain of command. And they don't come along just to observe shakedown runs. <laughs> Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. I don't like it. What do you know about the stealth systems? I just know it masks our location from scans and sensors. Cutting edge technology. The Normandy's the only ship with this prototype drive. But why are we fully staffed? A skeleton crew would be cheaper, less chance of security leaks, too. Plus, there's Nihilus. It's pretty obvious this shakedown run is just a cover. For what? Damned if I know, Commander. We're out here on false pretenses. I'm not a fan of being left in the dark. I better head down and see the captain. Goodbye. Yes, sir. Okay, moving on. I'm gonna meet the doctor think, here. Commander? I think he is the doctor at least. Too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Oh, I apologize about these notifications. I will be sure to remember to the take infirmary. them off next video. 
You need to calm down, Corporal. A good soldier stays cool, even under fire. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. What can you tell me about Nihilus? Turians are generally well respected by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find them too rigid. Others still blame them for the first contact war. As for Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. I heard Nihilus once took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. Man, I can't believe I'm on a mission with an actual Spectre. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself on a coos. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. Look at that. Another reference to uh, the options that we chose at the beginning of the game. So, I mean, yeah, uh, they don't do shit. You're young, Corporal. You have I'm just kidding. I'm not really that mad about that, but whatever. Don't worry, sir. I'm not going to screw this up. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Oh, hey, Curved Bubbles. Getting in my video here. Dick. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It'll give us a chance to talk. The captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. Is someone gonna fill me in, Captain? We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. What's the payload, Captain? A research team on Eden Prime. Unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. Yeah, like I said, don't even try to understand this right now. Uh, because you're not gonna understand it right now. Years ago. Just, uh, kind of let it seep in. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is big, Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Are we expecting trouble? I'm always expecting trouble. There's more, Shepard. Nihilus isn't just here for the beacon. He's also here to reevaluate. Guess that explains why I bump into him every time I turn around. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. Not many could have survived what you went through on Akuz. You showed a remarkable will to live. Hey, oh, look at that. Another reference. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. I believe it's just a complete waste of the recording for Bioware, but. I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs. Whatever. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and... Oh, I just want to highlight how he said, uh, first of several to missions to together. Uh, I will bring it back up Why in a couple minutes. Because so it's really, really... Is based on it's, Prothean it's... It's... You'll, you'll see. Yours. You'll see. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. 
There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliance ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. The Attic and Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low key. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down! Holy fuck. Alright, you know you're gonna die when a giant fucking claw comes out of the sky. Uh, you're just, you, you, have, you can just shoot yourself right there. You're, you're not gonna survive that. Look at that. They just shit themselves right now. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Elenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Engaging stealth systems. Yeah, we're gonna send in a small strike team. Um, hopefully, we're gonna get past this giant fucking claw that's in the sky. The muscle in this operation, Commander. The muscle of the operation. Let's let's go take out this giant fucking claw. Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Okay, so uh, this is what I'm going to bring up. How he said he was going to be evaluating with me, fighting with me together. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. You know, only just to turn his back on us and uh, go fight by himself. Fucking douchebag. Dick move right there. But I guess he. Oh, look at that auto save. Man, oh man. That thing works like a charm. Okay, as you can see, we are playing the game now. Um, the actual game. So, I mean, LB, or LT, I guess, is to aim. Uh, pretty, pretty standard. Um, if you hold LB, you can change your weapons and also your companion's weapons. Pretty nifty. Um, you hold A to run. Well, that's kind of like a jog. Once you get into combat, you can sprint. And I'll get to some more of the controls as I uh, go on with them. But I'm going to go up to these giant ball sacks. At least that's what they look like. Floating testicles. Uh. Oh. What an idiot. Way to get yourself killed within the first one minute of the gameplay. Yeah, 
Fuck you, robots. Oh, look at that. I just leveled up. Okay. So, I'm gonna, you know, since I leveled up, I'm gonna click Start. And I you go to Squad down here in the bottom, I believe. It looks like I have some points. Um, these, like I said, were my biotic abilities. Uh, warp and Throw. You can read those if you want. Pause the video or something. But, basically, this looks like it just weakens armor. And has a ma it's like a field, I guess, and this looks like it hurls objects at people. So it's like the force. Uh, but right now, I'm gonna notch up the throw, put some on f pistols, and stick some on assault training. Hope that saved. All right. And I'll get into how to, you know, do those abilities in a minute. Basically, you just do those abilities, hold the right bumper, and the, there they are, right there. And what you do is you can map these abilities, like as, as a quick slot. Uh, I think you can only do one at a time. So the, instead of just holding RB, like when you, you hold RB and you choose ability, you click A normally, but you can also map them by pressing X. So you just have to click RT. But I'm going to click, I'm going to put throw on my map. Got some burned out buildings here, Shepard. A lot of bodies. I'm going to check it out. So you can see there's an upgrade kit right here that you can just pick up. Looks like I got an, an, um, an armor upgrade, but I'll, I'll get to that in a minute here. Oh, we're getting shot at. Okay, L t or, um, clicking down the left stick is to uh, crouch down, and all you have to do it to get behind cover is just to run, run into it, and you know you can pop out pressing like normally by pressing uh, the left stick and everything. You just pop right back out using the analog stick. See, I'm gonna try to do one of these uh, these moves here. See, look at that. He just did that. It's not really good at the moment, but um, later on I will get more abilities, and a lot of, they 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 kick ass. Not even kidding. That's the reason why I chose this. Can't use a sniper rifle, but uses kick ass moves, horse moves. I'm just gonna call them. Oh shit. Um, that guy got fucked, more or less. Okay, was it really necessary for her to get pink armor? I mean, does it really even fucking matter? Oh, I can't use that armor, it's blue. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. Make it pink. You the one in charge here, sir? Or maybe, maybe, uh, maybe without the armor pink, we wouldn't know that it's a chick. The others weren't so lucky. I don't know. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. Maybe the boobs don't give it away enough. They cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. They had to make the armor pink too. Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double. I don't know. I'm kind of trailing off the game here, but whatever. I don't think any of the others. I'll do that a lot. <laughs> any idea what kind of enemy we're facing? I think they're Geth. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. You're coming with us, Williams. We need that beacon. Aye, aye, sir. It's time for payback. What are we fucking pirates now? Aye, aye. What else do you know about the Geth? Just what I remember from history class back in school. They're synthetics, non-organic life forms with limited AI programming, created by the Quarians a few centuries ago. They were supposed to be a source of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the Quarians and drove them into exile. Well, after that, they just kind of disappeared behind the Perseus Veil. Nobody's really heard much from them since. 
Describe what happened leading up to the attack. We were sent out a couple of nights ago from the main colony to secure the area. It seemed like a routine patrol until the Geth hit us. We never knew they were coming. What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Move out. Okay, uh, looks like we have a couple containers and grades here. We're gonna open them. A. Looks like we got new armor. Um, just click A to take them all, or we can click X, X to reduce to Omni Gel, which I forgot what that does. We'll find out. So I'm gonna go press start, go to equipment, then there's a description or whatever. Um, I got these new armor. As you can see, my new armor on the right side and my old armor on the left side. My new armor is clearly better. It has better than ever in every single section that my old armor is. So I'm gonna wear it. Too bad to see that badass armor go. Also, you can upgrade it by clicking X. It looks like I have a shield battery plus 40% shields. That's really good. I'm gonna add that on there, clicking A. And that looks like it's all I got. So I'm gonna continue on. Oh, well, it just showed an arrow there. Again, now there it is. Get behind it. Why won't you get behind it? Okay, you piece of shit. Okay, maybe I have to have my gun out to get behind it. Yep, look at that. Fuck these geth up. Ugh. Fucking robot. Bro. See, look how that just fucked the shit out of that thing. It did not even know what's coming. Yeah. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. We make for the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Oh, auto save. Change of plan, Shepard. God bless the auto save. It and it's auto or it and it's saving after uh, every two fucking seconds. I don't know what I'd do without it. Looks like I just got a couple weapons. I'm gonna go look at them. Equipment. I'm gonna be doing this quite a lot. Um, you know, to keep up to date with weapons. So this looks like a more damage, a little bit less shots over like point one less shots over overheating. A little bit less accuracy, but I think the uh, damage outweighs the, uh, you know, it sucking and everything else. So I'm going to equip it. And it looks like that's all I got since, you know, I can't fire sniper rifles or anything. I picked up two sniper rifles, two sniper rifles but I can't do shit with them right now. Or ever, I guess. Like so we're moving on. It's a good place for an ambush. Oh shit, I remember these things. Um, good thing I... Good thing I, uh... Switched my shotgun out, because, uh... These things don't fucking die with a, die with a pistol. <coughs> so, LB, equip the hurricane. You can also change, you know, your companions, but... They just kind of do their own thing. Yeah, get fucked. These things just come up to you and explode. Like, I've noticed, have you guys ever noticed this? Like, almost every single game has its, like, shooter game at least. Like Halo, stuff like that. Has its share of suicide bombers. Think about it, you know, the grunts with their two grenades and everything. This game with these people coming up to you and exploding. Man, um... Is this fucking made by Al Qaeda or something? Ooh, another shotgun. They keep on throwing these shotguns at me. 
Like, you just gave me a shotgun. Why do I need five more fucking shotguns? I, I bet it's... Let's, let's look, see if it's any better or worse. It looks to be the same exact fucking thing. Why would I want... You know what? I'm just going to give it to one of my companions. Click RT, LT, whatever. You can give him one of these shotguns. You can also give them armor. Which... I... Uh, they don't need right now at the moment. Oh, what is going on? There we go. Get stuck in a little bit of glitch. Come on, guys, let me out. Fuck you. Come up a little bit. Okay, will they really make this fucking place any smaller? Jesus Christ. Get out of here. Huh. Somebody's gonna pay for this. Oh, where'd the other guy go? Oh, oh, can I get out? Get the bastards. What the fuck? We should move. Get out of here, you bitch. Okay, I know there. Oh, there we go. Perfect situation to explain this. D pad. Up is to travel there, I believe. Right is to attack them. Uh, left on the D-pad is to regroup, and uh, be, or down on the D-pad is to stop. So, <laughs> yeah, good thing I remembered how to do that. Alright, I just went up to this door, and it said it was locked by security on the top there. Easy decryption. What's It's just, like, you just follow the sequence. Easy as pie. Open the door. Thank the maker. Hurry, close the door. Before they come back. What are you doing here? I'm Dr. Warren. I was in charge of this excavation. We hid in the shed during the attack. They must have come for the beacon. Luckily, it wasn't here. It was moved to the spaceport earlier this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to pack up the camp. Manuel. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. Reminds me of the Scrooge for some reason. What else can you tell me about the attack? I don't know. It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment. The next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents of the wow. Bringers of Sweet Jesus, thank God she had all that information. We could hear the battle outside. Um, we were uh, inside hiding, I and we could hear the battle outside. Then everything went quiet. I hope that information helped you. There, too afraid to move until you came along. Yeah, good luck telling Williams that to your grandchildren. You what a great it. story that would make. Nobody can stop it. Night is falling. The darkness of eternity. Hush, Manuel. Go lie down. You'll feel better once the medication kicks in. Cutscene. Sarah. Nihilus. This isn't your mission, Sarah. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. Wow, um... Yeah, there's a gunshot there. Look at that. First ten minutes of the game and there's already betrayal. Man, oh man. Oh, fuck. Son of a bitch. Okay, um, well. Good thing I don't face that thing right now. Holy shit, these guys are kicking my asses. 
Tend to whip out the shotgun here. Show these husks he's boss. See, look at that. I can sprint like that, holding A. Okay, can these guys not do anything? Can they really not kill these husks? Turn around and kill this bitch right here. Do I have to do everything for my fucking companions here. Whoa, shit, I didn't see this douche. Yes, yeah, sit down, bitch. Commander, it's Nihilus. A Turian? You know him? He's a Spectre. He was with us on the Norm. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait! Don't! Don't shoot! I'm one of you! I'm human! Sneaking up on us like that nearly got you killed. I am sorry I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Pal. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. I need to know how Nihilus died. The other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. I think they knew each other. Look at him. He's looking. Back. He's not even looking at my guy when he he's talking. Down. The fuck. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. We were told a Prothean beacon was brought to the spaceport. What happened to it? It's over on the other platform. Probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I had been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. Let's look and see what the ship was. Tell me about this mothership you saw. I I've never seen anything like it before. It... It was huge. Landed over near that platform. The whole place got dark as it came down. It was making this noise, this this sound that bored right into your brain. That's what woke me up. The attack came a few minutes later. You were sleeping? I thought you were working here on the docks. I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I, I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. You survived because you're lazy? You, you make me work. sick. You cower back here and do nothing while the Geth butcher everyone else. I don't even have a gun. What was I supposed to do? Run out there and die? I couldn't save them. Nobody could. Well, your family's not alive anymore. It, it I mean, what are you going to do? Everybody's dead on your planet. We need to find that beacon before it's have too Have fun late. living. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Yeah, go back in your fucking box. Looks like we got some more enemies. On the minimap, at least, it showed. Okay. If you just tap the left bumper, it goes back to your most recent weapon. So that's definitely helpful. We got a bitch coming down. Looks like my health is running a little bit low. I will address that later. Yeah, that's how you do it. Mm. 
Moving on. Oh, there's that bitch. Accept the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. <coughs> Okay, they just come in here. Hold on. They just came into a planet, slaughtered everybody on the planet, and they expect to leave no evidence. Okay. Uh, <laughs> good luck with that, that's all I can say. Oh, there's our first bomb. Saving content. Demolition I'm gonna go ahead and hold A to disarm it. Looks like I had to Hurry, disarm for five minutes. Uh-oh, I'm low on health. Click Y to use a health pack. And also heals your companions also. Another one back here. Oh, those shock troopers are a bitch. This thing's just completely take down your health. It's horrible. Uh oh, one of them, one of them GM my radar. Shit. Get back. Fuck. Losing health. Uh oh. Click select to throw grenades, by the way. I know, it's kind of a weird button. You press select to throw a mine, I guess, to stick the mine, and you click select again to blow it up. I'm not sure if you can change those things in the settings, or I, might, I don't know. Starting a last bomb here, that wasn't too hard. Three minutes to spare. A couple new sniper rifles that are completely worthless to me. I'm gonna go ahead and heal myself right now. Getting kind of low. Uh oh, we got some husk over there. Get out my shotgun. Yeah, don't mess. Oh, looks like we found the beacon. Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. Uh oh. You see how she just he just horseback her? Yeah. There is sexual content in this game. Oh, there's the giant claw. Ship. Thing, mothership, whatever you want to call it. Big fucking ship, I sometimes like to call it. We identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime. The Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. 
one of the humans may have used it. Whoa there. Oh shit. Anger management much. Doctor, Doctor Chakwas, I think he's waking up. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? How did I end up here? How long was I out? About fifteen hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. You had no way to know what would happen. Actually, we don't even know if that's what set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. The blast knocked you cold. The lieutenant and I carried you back here to the ship. What's the damage, Doctor? Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. What, is there a fucking yeah. ghost in this room? Seriously, is anybody else hear that? Everything's really clear. Hmm. Uh, Let me add to my report. It may... oh, fucking ghost. Great, now our oh, ship's no, haunted. Up, when all the readings look normal, I'd say the commander's going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Whoa. I'll be in the mess if you need me. In private? Must be pretty important. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? Chief Williams isn't part of the Normandy crew. I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Gether invading. The Council's going to want answers. The Geth would have wiped out the whole colony if I hadn't stopped them. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a specter, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Geth, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how. I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? I saw a synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. What are we going to tell them? I had a bad dream? <laughs> we don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Sarah. I know his reputation, his politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. Oh my god, Death Dealer AJ. Get out of my game, please. Thank you. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. 
He can go anywhere, do almost anything. He's a specter. That's why we need the council on our side. We prove Saren's gone rogue, and the council will revoke his specter status. I'll contact the ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. All right, well, um, just saving right now, but uh, I think I'm gonna end my video at uh, at that. Uh, we just finished the first mission on Mass Effect One. Uh, this is Mitchell from Above the Talk Studios. Uh, be sure to subscribe and uh, tune in for the next video. We're gonna be going to the second mission. All right, see you guys later.